Hello everyone, Farmsome Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another map tour. And this one, I am, I've got to admit, I'm really taken with so far. I haven't played long on it, but what I've seen so far, I am I am really impressed with. I love it. So this is Tahiton County, Iowa by DR Modding. Now it's based around uh, Madison County. It is a fictional map, but based around Madison County. Um, and he has really just captured a real essence of farming in this. I love this. I, I always talk about maps in, in so much as you've got to get a feeling for them. You know, it's very easy to, you know, do the box ticking exercise of do they have productions? Do they have a certain amount of fields? Do they do this, that or the other? But actually, it's how you feel when you play it that really decides whether or not you love a map or not. So um, from from my perspective, from the way I play and the type of maps I like, this absolutely does that. It, it's too early to say, but for me, this could be one of those maps that, that um, signifies one of the best maps in Farm Sim for me. Um, but we'll get onto that in a little while. First and foremost, we should probably have a look around it, shouldn't we? Because um, it's a biggie. It's a 4X, so bear in mind that that will be for PC only, of course. And it comes in two different versions. You've got a row crop version, a row crop ready version, and you have a standard version. I'm on the standard version. I haven't done too much digging into row crop yet. And I will say, if you're going to look at the row crop one, you better have a punchy PC because it takes a lot of power. In fact, even for this map, frame rate wise, you've got to have a pretty punchy PC because the detail in it and the quality of it mean that um, it's going to have uh, some impact on frame rate. So bear that in mind. Now, the other thing to consider as well is that as well as the map, which is available now, by the way, I'll put the links in the description, as well as the map, uh, there is quite a large mod pack. Now, you don't need the mod pack to make the map work, but what you will get is a pretty blank, empty map. You can see all these buildings on here. They won't be there. So um, you may want to consider downloading the mod pack. The map's coming in around about 1.5 gig, the mod pack around about 1.4 gig, and it is a huge collection of mods from a lot of different modders out there. Um, he does have permission for them, but he's bundled them all together um, and made some slight tweaks to them, I believe, uh, to make them work with the map. Now, the only problem with that is the original modders don't get uh, the credit for a download if you have them in a mod pack. So bear that in mind. And I, uh, to be honest, um, when I looked through the mod pack, 90 plus percent of them I already had in my mod folder uh, and I've grabbed from uh, the mod hub or, or various uh, modders facebook pages or itch pages already um but if you do um feel that way inclined and you want to support those modders as well i would suggest you go and download them uh, separately as a bit of a thank you for them being included in this map um but um without further ado let's have a bit of a look round. so straight in there is your pda not many square fields in sight there at all. It's a really detailed map from the from the perspective of the fields and layouts. And, and we'll drive around and we'll have a look at this. A lot of um, areas with trees in them. Not forestry particularly, uh, but just a lot of trees. But there is a lot of green open spaces as well. So again, cutting these uh, fields to the shape that you want joining fields together expanding fields there's a lot of scope for that and there's a lot of waterways in here as well so you need to be careful where things are but lots of scope to adapt and change this how you see fit there are 161 fields in total ranging from the smallest at 0 0.12 hectares which i think is just down here field 27 there it is just hiding there uh, to, of course, the big one up at the top here, field 144 coming in at 30.39 hectares. So a um, little bit of something for everybody and lots in between, which is nice. In addition, you have four additional crop types as well. So you've got silage corn, alfalfa, narrow soybean, and we'll come on to that in a little while. Narrow soybeans behave exactly the same as normal soybeans, so we'll, but we'll talk about this in, in a little minute. And rye. Uh, one thing to note here as well, the premium expansion will not work with this map. It does cause issues. So carrots, parsnips and red beets, if you want to farm those at the moment, not working on this map. So do bear that in mind. 
Um, there are seven farms in total that I found, uh, but there's lots of little spaces on the map. There's Sometimes there's just a couple of grain bins sitting in the middle of nowhere and things like that. So lots and lots of scope for you to build or develop your own area or farm. There's a couple of nice little touches as well. We've got an airport, we've got a racetrack, and we have a rather big ethanol plant as well. So um, scope to, uh, I don't know, do things slightly differently on this map, which is quite nice. Now, I quickly wanted to touch on narrow soybeans versus normal soybeans. And to all intents and purposes, what I can tell anyway, is this is just a texture change. Uh, this is narrow soybeans as a texture at growth stage two. And as you can see, uh, very tightly packed together. Being uh, nice here, very green. Um, but what we'll do, we'll jump into quickly into easy dev and we'll set these for normal soybeans just so you can still see the difference between the two and I think you'll maybe once you see that you'll agree this looks a lot nicer so here we go field 149 which we are in let's switch this to normal soybeans for a second there we go and growth stage two again so we're keeping it the same and there is the other texture so as you can see much wider gaps between the crops here so the narrow soybeans give you narrower runs and I don't know, I just think it looks nicer. But let me know in the comments if you think differently. Right, we'll quickly jump into um, prices and all of the sell points. And as you can see, lots of sell points available for all your regular crops all the way down um, into your wood, your silage, your grass, your straw, your hay, all of that stuff. And then we have all your production sell points as well we have those in there um and then if we go down to this point we start to see some new interesting stuff fermented cornmeal but no sell point i don't i yet to find out what is happening with that um i've had a look around i've tried to find the mills and things like that haven't found anything yet so i think that could well be used for feed for animals somewhere because there are some interesting changes to that and i'll come on to that in a little minute as well Corn stalks, you can sell your corn stalks. Cracked corn, you can... Um, I've certainly found a place where you can buy that. And wet cake. And they're the things I'm going to talk about next when we look about when we look into uh, how we feed cows. Um, your rye, you've got places to sell that. Your silage corn, no sell points available. I think the assumption is you're going to be using that for feeding your cows. Um, alfalfa, alfalfa hay... Um, your narrow soybeans and so just as we were looking there narrow soybeans look at the price 1361 now if we go up to normal soybeans 1361 slightly higher at Teton farmers market there but to all intents and purposes prices appear to be the same so you should be able to sell either one and there's no benefit to it um, it is the same for both which is what led me to think that it was probably just a cosmetic thing rather than anything else. Um, we have anhydrous on the map. It does work. Uh, we've got a little name issue here in the XML. Uh, a relatively easy to fix. And bear in mind, new map, there will be things that crop up. Um, you can do so much with a test team, but actually when you release it to the, the wider world and more and more people are using it, these little things crop up. So I'm sure that will be fixed at some point. Propane as well. There is a corn dryer on the map. Um, so you can purchase propane. And there we go. There are sell points for your dried corn, including the Poet Ethanol plant down there. Um, Price-wise as well, look at your dried corn. Um, we're on hard. Uh, are we on hard? No, we're on easy mode at the moment. So 936 there. And if you go up to here, normal corn, 600. So maybe worth drying your corn if you're going to sell it sand is used in it has legacy ags um cow sheds in here so sand is used there is nowhere to buy sand at the moment which is interesting um so i'm not sure how you would use that other than maybe placing a sell point in um one of the uh silos that sells everything maybe the best way to do that or oh, you've always got easy dev ethanol as well so there is an output of ethanol from the ethanol plant but nowhere to sell it which is interesting as well so um maybe there's some further updates to this map coming and again the same with corn gluten meal soybean meal canola meal and sorghum meal i thought they may be something to do with cow feed as well no sell points so um i've yet to find what you would do with these um i'm going to do a little bit more digging so i'll report back Right, let's talk about cows very quickly and how you feed them. We have got here, 
wet cake there is the texture for wet cake and you have here cracked corn there is the texture for cracked corn and there is the texture for corn stalks as well so the reason i'm showing you those is because over here we have a feed wagon full of tmr but let me jump in and show you the makeup of it so let's pull up the f1 menu here there you go you can see there um I just easy dev this in and this is what it gave me I guess is the optimal or um, the the ideal ratios for your TMR so nearly 30% of that is uh, silage then you've got 42% hay then you've got corn stalks you've got a little bit of mineral feed and your wet cake and your cracked corn makes your TMR but if I go into the animal screen there's our animals um, it just shows up as total mixed ration here and you can also give them silage hay or grains so um i wondered then well does the tmr have to be made up in that way so i took the liberty of just putting silage hay and um some uh, corn stalks in here and there we go 52, 22, and 25% corn stalk. So I missed the cracked corn and the wet cake out and the mineral feed. And we still, in here, have TMR. There we go. Still have TMR in there. So um, you could skip all of those things if you want, but maybe it's an immersion thing. Maybe you want to play a little bit more realistically. Maybe you want to use some of those new items. That is available to you, which I think is a nice touch. Uh, you feed them through here. So you just drive in and tip in there. You get your trigger point in there. Do not get confused with this, which is the uh, hay area. Um, and now this does accept alfalfa and regular hay as well. Um, so you can drop your bales or hay in there. Right, and on that note, I think we'll maybe have a little bit of a tour of the map, shall we? Let's just jump back to the map for a second. We are up here in the top right hand corner so what i think we'll do we'll head along this top road uh we'll head maybe down this road here rather than the outside one we'll do a little bit of a flyover of certain places as well because it is a big map um lots and lots to explore here uh, and we'll head down to the bottom it appears to be that most of this is just lots and lots of grassland and trees down here appears to be most of your productions or your sell points are in the town here there are a few up here uh the the uh, ethanol plant is up here, uh, your animal dealer is up here, um, and you've got some of the farms down here. So we'll go and have a look at some of those farms. But in essence, everything seems, it's almost like the, the map is split down the middle. And everything on the right is where there's a lot of action going on. And then on the left hand side, other than the animal dealer and a grain mill, you appear to have mostly just fields and forests. So this is a nice little um, cow barn here. Um, more traditional cow barn but um, you've got a nice little house here you've got some traditional type bins here and they roll out here onto a nice field of I think beans I would be correct um, and um, look at the size of this field now again bearing in mind this is a 4x map um, it looks quite innocuous when you look at it on the PDA but that is a pretty big field um, so Bear that in mind, fields are bigger than they appear on the PDA. Right, let's jump in here, fire up the engine, and let's roll out and have a look. Again, gives you an idea for some of the fields around you as well. Lots of, uh, lots of cornfields here on this map as well, lots of soybeans as well. The crossing over, again, the detail of things like these little bridges, just the chevron markings, the armco, things like that. The drainage ditches with pipes in them is very nicely landscaped. Uh, big power lines running overhead and then telegraph poles alongside you. Uh, the the houses are, are built into them and they feel like they're in keeping with the map. It doesn't feel like they've been stuck in a square space and just dump there it looks like there's some buildings missing behind there as well so i maybe haven't got the entire of the mod pack in um but we'll head along here down to the junction gravel road turning into tarmac roads here stop signs all the details here we're coming across the dealership here as well there we go 
to heat and farm supply there and again this is what I was talking about before as well as all the fields you have areas such as this which if you look at it on the map again just have a huge swathe here of green space um, which could be mowed up you can buy all of these so if I go into here there we go actually I've purchased that so you have a field in here 157 but around that you have a whole big area of grassland as well so again easy to purchase a nice custom grass texture as well here but easy to be able to purchase this mow it all up and get a lot of grass off of that as well so good to bear in mind um, it feels quite a, a heavy um, animal or cow silage type map based on the area I guess but you can pretty much do what you want here of course there is the dealership lots of vehicles outside it which is nice there's actually a propane tank there as well so if you want to purchase propane for your corn dryer there is where you would purchase it nice uh, amount of vehicles I like so I do like um, I do like uh, dealerships when they've got vehicles sitting outside them as well which is a nice touch um, now we're heading over here over the train crossing the train um, that passes through is huge I love it because it's kind of authentic nice long train um, there is no stops you can rent it um, and you can sell off map but there are no loading points at, actually at the moment so that's interesting um, and we'll come back to that and why that is in a little while but um, my view is potentially uh, in future we might see an update to this map again add some more stuff in now we're going to head down here because we're going to have a look at the ethanol plant so a uh, huge area here with the ethanol plant in and appears to be from what i can tell the best place to sell your dry corn on the map um i guess uh, the prices will fluctuate through the year but well, let's roll around here um the tip point for selling your ethanol or your uh, dry corn not your ethanol is around here there we go just roll under there and unload that and look at all the tankers on the railway line there ready to take that ethanol away um, and then round here is a buy point so I'm just going to show you this because good to know where this is particularly after just showing you what happens with the cows so just here if I jump out of this and jump into this truck quickly this is where you can buy your wet cake as you can see we're loading up there and your money is going down so that's just a good old-fashioned buy point for your wet cake there doesn't appear to be anywhere that you can make your own um, so bear that in mind you do have to buy it if you're going to use that you have to buy it right let's head out of here and let's keep going along this top road right heading back to the road here straight across now is one of the farms so let's just pull in here I'll let you have a look at this a big field of uh, corn there to our right but there we go house with garages um, some rather nice buildings here look like trailer park farms sheds here let's just stop let's just jump out because this is where your grain dryer is you can see the dryer is on at the moment there uh, you add some propane here so there you go you can add that in there and it will hold everything else as well as just your dry corn um, so there we go you can see those and it is one to one so you don't lose uh, any volume when you uh, dry it uh, as long as you've got your propane in there so a little bit of cost in your propane but the uptick in the amount of money you make is very good some nice big sheds here as well so you can fit a lot of machinery in these looking good and you've got a workshop over here as well and more storage over there very nice river bottom customs uh, dryer setup as well and I am a big fan of those. Right, let's just roll around here. Anybody wondering where this truck is from as well? It is from Ben Kemper, um, who does some really nice US trucks. Right, let's roll out onto the road again. 
Let's head past the ethanol plant and a little bit further down to the animal dealer and uh, to one of the grain uh, selling points. Just as we're heading along the road here, you can see the slight undulations in the map as well. It isn't, it is a flat map, but it's not completely flat. There's some nice little undulations. Um, and you can see there's, um, maybe just missed it there, but there, you can see them just over there in that, in that cornfield behind us. These little gullies and tributaries cut into some of the fields as well. It looks like you can cut a lot of those up with a plow. So you can shape your field to be a bit bigger if you want to. There is our animal dealership over there. Again, there's another little area within the field with a tree in it. Uh, but again, these nice houses here, which look great. Got a gas station here. Uh, animal dealership is behind us. I think I might have missed it, although it looks like there's a road here as well. So let's just head up here. So you've seen the animal dealership. And this is how we get into the grain site as well. So that's good. There you go. There is a mix of obviously base game stuff in here as well as some custom stuff as well. So there is our big animal dealership, which looks nice. Love that. There we go. An old uh, grain bin lying outside. The roof of a grain bin lying outside there. Interesting. Right, let's roll around here. There is the other um, mill as well grain cell point and again I'm going to show you this specifically because as well as where you can sell your crops we have another fill point so let's just stop here let's just jump out jump in the truck and this is where you can get your cracked corn so again nowhere on the map that I found yet where you can make your own so if you want cracked corn this is where you can pick it up Handy to know. Right, uh, let's jump into the map quickly, let you get your bearings. So there we go, we are in the top left hand corner now. Uh, we've come all the way along here and run down here. So you saw how long I was driving for there, you get an idea for how big this map is. Right, we're going to run down here, straight down to the bottom of the map, but we'll maybe stop along the way and let you see just some of the scenery, some of the fields. So there's the grain mill over there. We drive past a couple of buildings here. Looks like an old John Deere dealership that's closed down. A uh, couple of buildings here. There's your bakery as well. So you can sell product there. And we'll just turn back off the main road onto the gravel roads here. And we will head down again. It gives you an idea for the size of some of these fields. Don't look massive on the map. But actually when you're driving alongside them, give you a real idea for how big they are. Um, of the church here. Lots of gravestones in there. And over this nice bridge. Which uh, looks a little bit familiar from my Surviving Wyoming series. Definitely seen that before on Elk Mountain, but nice. Nice to see. And there you go. We've got some small fields here as well. Again, there's a couple of places like this where I think there's missing buildings. Um, so, interesting. I shall bear in mind that when I check the mod pack. Definitely got it installed. So head down here. And again, you can see when I said before, lots of areas with trees in. They don't look like the fun trees um, that you can uh, fell easily for forestry. But um, lots of them on the map, which definitely bring that character to things. And again, these expanses of open grassland as well. Again, if you want to cut these down. No, I've zoomed out quite far here, but I wanted you to see it. And then um, rolling down here, there are some of those inlets into the fields again. Again, I can see no issue with you ploughing those under and squaring some of those fields off to make them a little bit easier. Um, they sometimes can give you quite big challenges with the likes of course play, very narrow uh, elements. Um, there isn't enough space for the headlands, so you may want to do that if you're big on course play. Um, and... You know what, on a 4x map, you probably are going to be looking towards course play or helpers to uh, get stuff done for you. But again, here, just the signage is nice. Visually, very nicely done. As we roll down here, other field, lots of little, I don't know, little areas and, and places tucked away that you'll only find if you're driving along these roads. And we'll head all the way down. I think we're running alongside the river just here as well. We'll head all the way down. We'll get it near 
to some of the other farms now down here rolling across this nice little bridge here you can see the old bridge there maybe not big enough for uh, large vehicles these days but again nice nice little details and as you can see it isn't all flat this map lots of little undulations and ups and downs and elements that make it feel I don't know r real authentic which is nice so much grass though look at all these areas and they are buyable so you could literally farm this map with uh, out actually owning a field if you bought some of these grassy areas off to the sides of fields and things like that right we'll head down to the bottom road and we'll see you there right here we are we're about to hit the main road again and as you can see large expanse of fields like i said at the start there grain bins there just three grain bins uh, so no farm down there but there are lots of areas where you could start your own farm and lots of space where you could start your own farm as well in fact look at that just next to that cornfield and that other field with i don't know what in it from here but there's a little square there we could plonk some buildings as well nicely done um, but again, look, just the detail, look, the crossing signs, the stop signs, the telegraph poles, the speed limit signs, the fencing. It's very nicely done. It really is. Like I said you know, before, you have to feel a map. Now, some people maybe get this map and not feel it, but personally, I, I am getting vibes from this. I really like it. I really like it. So just in here, we have... I think this is the hogs. Let's buy a few and just see what happens. There we go. Let's just get a few. Oh, look at that. You can fit a thousand hogs in here. So let's do that just to have a look. You can hear them. Let's see if we can look inside. There they are. And let's see what they eat. So there we go. Pretty standard, actually. There's nothing uh, telling me that I need anything else in there other than the normal uh, stuff that we would use normally, which is interesting. Um, so, again, I just was wondering whether or not some of that meal, or those additional meal products might be used for pigs or some of the other animals, but I've yet to work it out fully. If I find out, I shall report back. Right, let's head over, because this is kind of part of the uh, farm that's on the other side of the road. Right, so back to the road here, just over. You can see here more animal points here. We've got everything down here. I think we've got sheep, we've got pigs, we've got cows. So lots to choose from. And again, nicely laid out yard and area to play with. You've got your fuel point there as well, which you can fill up with your own gas. Um, and then more animal pens down here as well. Lovely, love this building pack as well. Really nice. Right, so heading back out of here, you can see straight ahead there is another farm uh, over in the distance there. We're just going to roll out of here though and head down here before we take that left because over on the other side, just on our right-hand side here, there's something else cool. Here we are, we've just pulled off the road here, and you have got a legit little municipal airport. You can literally pull onto the runway just here. Look, you've even got uh, markers on the telegraph poles just before they come into land. Um, on the screenshot for the map, it has a plane coming into land. I've yet to see that, but I have seen a few flying around in the sky. But there we go. We are running down the runway. We'll not go too far down here, just in case it's time to land. But in here, a couple of planes as well, sitting in the hangars. So a nice touch. I do like that. And anyway, let's head back here and let's head over and have a look at that other farm over in the distance that we saw before. I'm going to stop here as well, because over there in the distance, you can see the extremely large train that passes around the map which I really like, in fact there's a crossing up here so we're going to drive all the way up here whilst this is still moving 
and you'll see just how big it is. All grain uh, trailers or grain uh, carriages on it, so there you go. The two trains are just about to disappear into the into the bushes there, and it's still going. And if I get to the crossing, put the brakes on, it's still going. There's the end of it. I really like that. I mean, that is authentic, let's say that. Huge trains like that. Like I said, interesting there's no point to load on the map that I found yet. You can hire the train, but you can't load it anywhere that I found. Again, I could be wrong. Uh, we're still finding this map out. There's so much on it. Uh, but I wanted to share with you what I'd found so far and let you download it and have a play yourself if you're that way inclined. Now, here is another nice... This is a nice farm, this. I like this one. Uh, but there you go. Grain bins, some nice storage there as well. Um, again, kind of garages, uh, legacies, really nice uh, equipment here. These sheds are really nice. Let's pop this. And again, pop this. I can, I can't from this side. I knew that. got to go in through the door here and open them using the switches on the inside there you go really lovely sheds big fan of legacy stuff and uh, you've got a pressure washer in there as well and you've got your bay down here for doing mechanic -y stuff very cool back in the truck let's just run around here and you can see what's going on with these buildings just down here there we go more animals down here I believe that's more cows so we'll turn around now I can hear the plane overhead as well I wonder if it's the one that's coming into land nope there it is just over to our right just over there Right, let's get out of here. Still loads more to see. Even nice touches like that, look. Old pickup, boarded up house, clearly not being used anymore, but bring some character to the map, really nice. Okay, back to the main road. We're rolling onto the main road here, looking over, you can see a lot of buildings over there, we're heading towards the town. I will jump in quickly again to the map to give you an idea of where things are at. Just coming up to this crossroads here. So we have decisions to make. We are of course going to hang a left as that road is closed. Which obviously leads you off the map. The so wheel turn just down here and stop before we come up to the next point of interest. So there we are. We are here. Um, down, I guess, just off centre, right hand side, bottom of the map. Uh, we're going to run up this road. We're going to have a look in the town here. As you can see down here, lots of um, green space. We will go and have a look here though, because there's something interesting down here I want you to see. Um, and then we'll, after we've looked in the town, we'll head back up along this main road to back to where we started, really. Lots of stuff off to the distance here. We'll do a little bit of a fly around, uh, a little bit of a montage at the end for you to see that. But uh, in general, um, this is where most of the action is happening now before we head back. A couple of farms on the way, but uh, heading back to the top. But before all that, I wanted to show you this. This is our little anhydrous point. Now I have put a tractor in here, um, but everything else that you see is placed here when you load up the map, as long as you've put the, uh, the uh, mod pack in. So, you have got your anhydrous fill tanks, you've got these smaller carts here, and then you've got a couple of dual tank carts over there as well, and you've got a couple of toolbars here. Now what's nice is that you can borrow these. These are available for you to use. They don't show up as leased vehicles. So if I go into here and click on here, we have no leased items, but if I jump in the tractor, like I said, I placed this, so this isn't here when you start. Let's jump into the tractor here. If I roll round now, 
and pick up one of these toolbars, it will let me. So, as far as I can tell, when you need to put an hydrus down, if that's what you want to do, look. There you go. It hooks up, which is brilliant. I do like the idea of that. Let's just unhook that for a second, because I just want to show you as well. We roll over here, pick up one of these tanks, let's say this one, and roll it under the fill point. Like so, and hit the R button to fill it. There we go, you can see down in the bottom corner there, that is filling up 20%, 30%, and it's taking the money off, so it's not free, but it would appear that use of the equipment is, well, uh, you want to borrow it. I like that, a nice touch. A very nice touch. Right, back in the truck, let's head towards the town. Right, so here we are again, just running along the side of some of these fields. That's field 21 to the side of us there, or area 21. Um, but we're going to take a left here, run into the town of Tahiton. Yep, traffic lights changing to green there, so we're on our way. It's quite nice that uh, the uh, traffic stops for that as well. So here we are, rolling into Teton again. More um, grain bins there and a shed there. So again, if you can buy all of this space as well and use it how you see fit. Um, again, this detail with the signage and just it feels really nice. There we go, we've got the high school there, the Hawks which have their uh, football field just over there as well. You can see that in the distance, so that's a nice touch. Um, huge grain bin set up here as well, so if you again want to sell crops, this is where you can buy a lot of stuff as well. So there's a grain mill you can drop stuff off at and sell it. You can buy all of your commodity products here, so your fertilizers and your um, lime and things like that can all be bought here, which is great on this kind of grid system as you would expect there we go more train track here as well and again this is for me where I would have expected we could have seen the train run through and fill up and again I could be wrong but it doesn't seem to be a load point there so um, hopefully I've got it wrong and you can but uh, if not maybe we'll see that in the future so let's run back down here um, a few more cell points down here and it's actually really nicely done town, this. We're on the outskirts in there. Let's call it the industrial area at the moment. But actually, when you drive down the kind of main street, it's really nice. Housing as well. It's in keeping. Really nice. Let's just roll down a little bit further. We can take a road down here. Got bigger houses down here. Trucks parked outside them. It feels very lived in this map, which I always think is a tick in the box for doing things right. But here we are. We've got the Dairy Queen and we've got the diner here. Church there and the gas station. And then you roll into this. This is really nice. There was one corner I just... I stopped before and I just went, this is really nicely done. Look at that, you stand here like that. This looks really great. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Um, we've got the dairy there. To the right, got the fire station down there. We've got a farmer's market here, which you obviously can uh, sell a lot of different things at. So you've got lots of scope. Obviously, the bowling alley there as well, the dairy queen will be a sell point, the diner will be a sell point. So lots and lots of stuff to do here. Right, let's head up towards the town hall and turn left at the top. Right, the town is behind us. We are heading down here, back to the lights and we're going to hang a left here head back to where we started stopping at a couple of farms along the way just to have a quick look and there's the train on its loop background as well and there's a couple of junctions off here we can just peel down here quickly have a look a couple of these again nicely done a little detail there separating off these roads from the main road, couple of houses there, we've got a barn down here. 
in a, maybe an arable setup here that we could use. A bit of a silo there for grass. A bit of a garage. Again, lots of different types of farm on the map, so you've got choices as to where you want to start. If you were doing a survival or you were going to do something on a larger scale, you could do it that way. And we can roll back out of here, back onto the main road. Right, here we are, back on the main road, just rolling up to the top of the map again. Again, just... I just love the detailing. I love the way it's laid out. I love the, the variety of things that are going on here. You can see there we've got more buildings off uh, to the left and the right here. So more scope for developing things how you want to. We are spoilt here. Big animal pen there. Got another... That's the winery there, so we've got some vineyards on the map as well. All buildings over there. Big open road here as well, and you can see over there, and there's the grain dryer from the farm that we stopped and looked at very early on. You kind of rise over this little crest, and again, those subtle details like these just undulate, slightly undulating roads really add to the effect of the map as well. Um, I really like this map. I really do. And here we are back at the dealership where we started out so um, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pull in here and say there you go a quick tour of Tahiton County by DR modding gotta say the potential in this is huge really enjoying it it is already out like I said before as well you can get it on his itch page make sure you get the mod pack as well if you want all of the buildings included now um, there are a few things that I haven't discovered yet so I will definitely report back if I can find out what's happening one with the train two with some of those uh, interesting uh, products that were on the prices page here so if I know what corn gluten meal soybean meal canola meal and sorghum meal are I will definitely report back and maybe in the future we can sell our ethanol as well um, but I will let you know. But, as far as I'm concerned, this is a beauty. This has got huge potential. This excites me, and it's been a while since I've seen a map that's made me sit up and notice like this one has. So hats off to DR. Great job so far. I know um, there'll be a few tweaks, as there always is with new maps. Um, so, excellent work, man. And I hope you all enjoy it too. There you go, I hope you liked that vid. If you did and you're not a subscriber, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It does wonderful things to help the channel. And again, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like as well. But for now, from me, take care and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.